Today we're going to be talking about if you have ever caught yourself um, feeling like you're afraid to be 100% present. And I never thought I would do a live about this because I never thought that people were afraid to be 100% present because presence is where everything is and where you are and where you can radiate and be extremely magnetic. But I'm noticing as people are entering our community that people are really afraid to be 100% present. And so you may have caught yourself in those thoughts like you really part of you wants to be 100% present but then there's a part of you that's really resisting it because you're feeling but what if I'm too much like what if I'm too big when I'm 100% me 100% present in the moment totally there open fully alive what if I'm too much what if I'm too big what if I'm too little what if it's not enough for them what if I'm not enough for them, right? What if the character is necessitates or demands something completely different? What if the director demands something different? What if they're expecting something totally different than what I am when I'm 100% present, right? What if the character is supposed to be different? What if the story needs something else? You get the gist and you might have caught yourself there looping and spiraling thoughts of, Yes, I know presence is everything, and yet when it's the moment to actually open up and show up fully, 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 fully present, something in me shrinks and says, fuck no, because I think this may be, again, too much, too little, not what they're looking for, not what the tone of the director is, not what the show is, etc., etc., etc. And therefore, you retract and you're not being fully present. And that's so frustrating, right? Because as an actor, you really, really want to to, to be present in the moment because you know that when you're not present, it sucks when you're acting. It feels terrible. It feels painful. I hear the word painful a lot. It feels like torture. I hear that from so many actors of all levels. Like it feels like no matter how much I've worked, if I'm not 100% present when I'm acting, it's horrible because the only thing that you have to do is be 100% present. So when you're resisting that and taking that back in and not showing up, not really being there, you know you're pretending. You know you're faking, right? You know you're not being you. You know you're betraying yourself in that moment. And that's a horrible sensation. And we've all been there, right? So I know it's scary. Um, to actually be present because you're thinking of all those things like what if they don't like me when I'm 100% present what if I'm not doing exactly what they want and you may be thinking I can strategize and I can come up with what I think they're looking for or I can make the best choice out there I'll be better than others and then I'll nail the audition right then or the self tape then then they'll like me or even on set like if I manage to figure out what will please them, what they will like, and if I deliver that and I cut myself out from being completely present, then I'll get the job or then I'll get the recognition or the validation. Then it'll work. But it doesn't, right? And it's scary because you're feeling, well, I have one shot and I think if I control it a little bit, I have a higher chance of booking than if I don't control it and I'm just 100% present. And if you're afraid that being 100% present means I'm going to be too big, too little, too much, not enough, all of those things, I'm not going to please them, they're not going to like me, you're inevitably going to shrink your instrument, cut yourself from it, you're going to disconnect yourself from your presence. And then what happens? If you're not 100% present, what are you? Let's just ask yourself that question. If you're not showing up 100% fully present, fully alive, fully in the moment, what are you showing up with? And I'll see if there's any answers popping up in the chat. What are you showing up with if you're not 100% present? You're showing up with theory, right? With what someone else told me to do. You're showing up with pretending. You're showing up with faking. You're showing up with pushing. You're showing up with people pleasing, which is horrible. And that's where the pain comes from. When you're not 100% present, you're faking. You're disconnected from yourself. You're disembodying yourself. You're no longer fully in your body, fully in the moment. You're nowhere. There's no one there and no one can see you, obviously, right? So what we're talking about today is not about how to... Um, really show up and it's still control. It's not about 
making sure that I can be fully present and try to cater to their needs and people please at the same time? No. Meryl Streep says it in a great way. She says the difference between a good actor and a great actor is the great actor is ready to go out on a limb. The great actor is ready to dive in the moment, fully present, not caring about what the casting director, the director, the other actor, whoever's in front, the audience will think. The great actor is ready to go out on a limb. The great actor is ready to take a chance for his truth, for his presence in the moment. They are not ready to compromise that. They're not ready to betray that. The good actor is not doing that, right? The good actor is trying to figure out what the casting director wants, what the director wants, what the audience wants, and is trying to cater to those needs. And there's no art in that. There's no art in trying to please anyone across the room. There's no art of living in trying to please anyone across the room when you're not even working as an actor, right? If you're trying to please a friend, if you're trying to please your partner, if you're just into people pleasing and there's no integrity, there's no authenticity, there's no full presence in you, shit's going to go down, right? Because it's inauthentic. Just you not being fully present is inauthentic. Think of it this way. Right now, you have an audition you're shrinking that presence and you're trying to just tick boxes on what the character must be, what the story must be, what the tone must be. And therefore you're not showing up and you're trying to strategize on delivering something that you plan ahead. So you're not in the moment. So you're, you're faking it all because you're the alive material on a set. And if you're not fully present, it means you're not fully alive. If you're strategizing, if you're calculating, if you're thinking of the outcome, it means you're not fully present and alive. So you're not doing your job, right? So if you're not doing your job and you're not bringing that rare hot commodity that everyone is looking for, which is your utter presence, then you cannot book. You cannot book those juicy roles that you've been wanting to book. You cannot book with the big studios extended roles for a long period of time because you're just trying to fit a little box that you see is there. There's no little box. It's a role, it's a human being, and it demands your humanity, your full humanity, 100% of it in the moment. And like Meryl Streep says, if you're great, you'll be ready to go out on a limb. You'll be ready to come with that full humanity of yours that is unique, that is different, that only you have, that only you could offer, that is going to go way beyond the indications on the script because it's yours. Your job is to give life to that. Whose life? Your life. You're the character, right? And yes, it will serve the story in a way that's way bigger and way beyond you trying to fit a little box. That's not what your responsibility is as an actor and as an artist. It's to go beyond what is imaginable. It's to go beyond what is expected, beyond what is just serving the story. You'll serve the story. You'll say the words that are written. It's not like you're going to say something else, but you're going to come at it in your own unique way, which will be way bigger if you're 100% present than you just coming and trying to do what you're told. That's school stuff. Doing what you're told is old conditioning, it's behaving like a good little person, it's being at school and taking a test. That's not what you signed up for as an artist, right? So what happens actually when you do show up 100% present and when you do do what Meryl Streep says, which is you're ready to go out on a limb and not to control everything and play it safe, is that you'll have the chance to book more than the role you were called in for. You'll have the chance to be seen. Why? because you're 100% present. And what happens when you're 100% present is people see you because you are connected. You're actually there. When you're actually there on tape or in the room or on set, people see you. So let me say this again. You're trying to shrink your presence in order to fit what they demand and need. And the result is that you cannot book consistently that way. And you cannot book juicy roles that are important for you and that are meaningful and impactful because you're shrinking yourself to a very limited version of what you are. When you show up fully present as a human being, what happens is that they don't only see you for the role you came in for. They see you for everything because you are incredibly alive in the moment. They will want to work with you. We have so many stories of actors in our community who come back and say, 
Oh my God, I came in for that role, I got a bigger one. I came in for a small role, I got the lead role. I came in for a recurring, didn't even have a callback because they loved me so much. I was supposed to be killed at the end of the season. They're not killing me. Non-stop. We hear those stories non-stop. And you got to believe it, right? You, your humanity, your full presence is more important to you, to the story, and to impact the audience than you faking and pretending and trying to do it right and trying to apply a theory or someone else's method. There's no such thing as a method in acting. Acting is the art of being fully alive. And guess why children are the best actors in the world? Because they haven't been to acting school, correct? Because they're still fully alive and they're not conditioned yet. They haven't been told to repress their feelings, their sensations, their opinions, their thoughts, their behavior, their entire life. They're still completely raw and present and instinctive. They're fully alive. And so they are incredible when it comes to acting. Or as a matter of fact, to not acting, but really being there. All right, great. Happy to see you. Happy Monday. See you soon. Bye-bye.